So it's September 27th, 1861. I'm the Union versus the Confederacy. And what I call the War of the Rebellion, even though the name of the game is Grand Tactician in the American Civil War. If you go specifically by definition, this war was not a civil war. A civil war is where two factions fight over control of the government. The Southern Confederacy was never trying to take over the government of the United States. They were trying to establish their own government. So it's more probably called a revolution or a rebellion. Now I am from Ohio, I'm a Yankee, and it was a very good thing that the Union won the war because the United States would look pretty stupid being two different countries. I do not understand why everyone hates Confederates so much. They were Americans. They, they felt strong enough for their ideals to kill each other over it, you know. So I got Wheeling West Virginia. I got I got I gotta take West Virginia. I gotta have uh, Charleston, Wheeling and Grafton. So we should go back up this a, a, little, a little bit here. <clears throat> In order to win the war, right now there's, see, I've only got a few thousand more guys than they do. To win the war, I need like a half a million guys versus a half a, a quarter million guys. Because I can't guard everything and attack everything. If I put all my guys in one spot, they... Look at this crap. Wait, we just... I just fought off a big army that... Oh, there they are. Now look here. There's 152,000... Confederates, right? Twenty six thousand, fifty two thousand of them are right there in o in frickin' Ohio. <laughs> well, Indiana. I had to send the Army of Ohio over to fight them. When soldiers enlist, they enlist for three months, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. Now, three-month soldiers, you can't train them and use them before they're gone. 12-month soldiers, you can barely train them before they're gone. The two-year soldiers, okay, they're good. But until you have an army, until you have an army of three-year soldiers, who are trained, you can't do crap. And then, they all come in with this crap. <laughs> this is a slight improvement. <coughs> but until they get rifled muskets, They're not, they're not doing any good. Now, one advantage I have at the start is their Navy has 20,000 and I'm 117,000. <laughs> so, 
So wherever they send a Navy, I can send a... Oh, look at this. They send a Navy. <laughs> 18 ships. Well, I only got 10. Well, I'll come out and fight you. <laughs> oh. We got a battle in St. Louis. When the war first started, I only had 1,500 people in St. Louis, and they attacked me with 8,000 and drove me out. So I had to sit there for months and months and months and build an army to take back St. Louis. That's General Sterling Price. They called him Pap. I'm not sure he was a Confederate. I think he was more like a Missouri guy. <laughs> Missouri is a border state, so there are people on both sides fighting over it. I put General Scott out there because He's the highest ranking officer I got at the time. So I told him to defend and go into single line stance. This is his first division. Okay, we're the, we're the, they're the, they're the Confederates. So they're going to come right down this freaking road. Right to there, so. Oh, I can't go that far up. Never mind. This is the first division under Colonel Michael Corcoran. Cochran, William H. L. Wallace, who was a good officer who got shot in the head at Shiloh. Muskets, rifles, okay. Rifles, okay. George Gordon Meade, he ends up being commander of the Army of the, of the, of the Potomac. Artillery. I was artillery when I was, okay, here's my cavalry. I baby them at the start because they don't have very good weapons. Once they get repeating rifles, they turn into the frickin' monsters. <laughs> They ride horses so they can get places fast. And as they said, an, infantry, an infantryman facing a cavalryman has to load his musket and he can fire maybe two rounds a minute. While the cavalryman can fire seven rounds and reload in less than a minute and fire seven more. So they can load on Monday and fire till Sunday.
All right, let's get it underway. What's it look like? <laughs> so, uh, 12,000 Confederates are attacking 29,000 Yankees. This will not be pretty. I'm sure they're going to get reinforcements before the battle's over. And I am not getting no reinforcements because this is my entire army in St. Louis. Where were we? Okay. So, now the question constitutionally did a state have the right to withdraw from the Union? We're not going to go into motives or any of that. We're just talking legally. Did a state have the right to say, okay, I'm no longer part of the United States? There, I think the southern states have a, have a case. They did have a right to say, okay, we're not part of this no more. Can you legally bind yourself into a contract that forces you to do things that you don't want to do? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we call that marriage, right? <laughs> never, never, never mind. I half figured that go away. Oh, we're going to take a look at our units here for a second. His commander is William H. L. Wallace. Like I said, he got shot at Shiloh in the head. And everybody left him for dead, and then they found him, and he lived. Long, his his head was you know blown half off, but he managed to say goodbye to his wife before he died. Good officer, did didn't you know April, eighteen sixty two is when he died, so didn't really get much of a chance to show himself. This guy got in trouble for stuff. I really wish he had rifles, or at least muskets. I can't do the whole thing. Okay, there it is. Because my microphone is covering up the... Uh... <clears throat> so these guys are going to run down the road. They're going to run right into my stuff. Get the crap shot out of them and then run away. <laughs> It says minor defeat, but duh. <laughs> Once the shooting starts, it's going to turn into a minor victory, and then a, if they, well, they won't keep coming. <laughs> Once they get inside that circle. All right, here we go. My artillery is firing. Come on, you idiots. 
299 guys are attacking this frickin' line. <laughs> 2,000. It's not going to be pretty. <laughs> I don't think my guys will even work up a sweat. Hey, shit, like, at least some of you go this way, or some of you go that way. But you don't come straight on into the frickin'. You know. I do have to remember to go through and and, and and give my give my troops better weapons. There's no reason my troops have to have mixed mixed muskets. They should at least have Springfield muskets. Just murder. My main units haven't even started firing yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Those are my skirmishers. They're not my units. Skirmishers. <laughs> we are murdering the poor bastards. They came straight at us. <laughs> Two thirds of my army is going to feel cheated. Fire you they can lose a thousand men. Okay, now they're running. Like
I don't plan on doing anything from St. Louis for another year. Troops are untrained, and they're all gonna get out of the army before I can do anything with them. <laughs> the, the, the best thing you can do for me is attack. <laughs> That was really hard. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> I'll line my guys up, but you just attack them. I'm Millie Mart. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. The Battle of St. Louis has ended with the Missouri State Guard retreating in panic. <laughs> Duh. Their morale is nervous. <laughs> oh, God damn it. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to zoom into the battle. Now, why are they north? of St. Louis. <laughs> huh. 
But what happened here? I don't even know why they mess with lower base squadron. Alright, we get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. These are all ships that they just got they, they, they just captured. How many of them will keep? I don't know, but what I do is I keep I keep the ship. Only I I change its name to USS. <laughs> Eventually, I'll make a river squadron out of these, out of Cincinnati. <laughs> this one. <laughs> well, like, how, how many did you guys take? I don't like the one part. Ten days till I get the draft. <clears throat> now what's important with the draft is I can fill my units up with soldiers. What the hell is this goddamn crap up here? See, this is what I hate. These frickin' armies, Confederate armies, 